Look how far that's dropping right there, guys. That is not good. <clears throat> this car is barely even moving. What's up guys thanks for tuning in we had a uh, customer drop us off a cart that said it was kind of jumping or sp skipping or whatever you want to call it um, <clears throat> it's a 98 club car 48 volt system we have learned that it's got 2017 batteries in it so when we get a cart like this in first thing we do is pop out the meter we're going to check what the battery status is and We are looking at 47, 6, 47, 7, 48. It's, it's kind of surface charging itself. But we're going to take it for a ride and uh, find out what happens when we put a load on it. Oh man, look how far that's dropping. That is the. Look how far that's dropping right there, guys. That is not good. This car is barely even moving. Jerking, I can I can feel the jerking. Got it to the floor. Yep. Got our foot to the floor. And you can see that this car is barely moving. But that's that's telltale right there guys that we got battery issues. And uh, of course of course this this date code here also is a big tail. Most of the time you really only get five years. That's the rule of, rule of thumb in the battery world, five years, and you better expect to be putting batteries in. Okay. All right, guys, so don't, don't be fooled by that number right there uh, because when you put this thing under a load and you have your meter attached to your, to your main battery sources here, when you hit that pedal and puts that load on that battery pack, it's gonna drop just like that right there. So don't let don't let this initial number right here fool you at all. It, I've seen carts that read 49.2, and that's that's generally a decent battery pack. But then it just falls straight on its face, and like low 40s down into 30s, just like this one does. So you know, be sure you guys jump on your car and test it under a riding load. All right, guys. So y'all seen the battery pack just drop 10 volts as we were putting the load on it. And so to determine if we've got one or multiple batteries, we're going to check them individually, all six batteries, and see what we come up with. So I'm going to start back here on the passenger side, rear battery. Five point eight. That should be eight volts or higher. So we know this battery is weak. Let's see what this next battery up front. Same side, passenger side, that's 8.1, that's going to be okay. Let's check the first one in the middle. Same deal, 8.1 on the first battery in the middle, second battery in the middle. There's a good looking battery there. Let's check the one on the driver's side back. There's another weak battery there at less than six, at 6 volts. And then we're going to test the front battery here on the driver's side. 3.9. So let's put some load on it and see what happens to that battery. See it drop. Look, it's just continuing to fall. <clears throat> I bet these batteries do the same thing too. They'll probably fall just a little bit. Yep, look at them going down to four. So that right there is going to tell you that at, at the very least, these three batteries need to be replaced, which we do not recommend. We recommend that you put all six batteries in because if you add three new ones to the three old ones, the three old ones are going to try to suck the life out of the new ones, and then you're going to wind up right back in the same place. Now, if you've got batteries say the three old batteries are still around the 8.3 to 8.6 volts you can certainly get away with putting three new ones in with that because they're still healthy enough to where they'll kind of equalize with the rest of the batteries and should be fine for a while and you know with today's times 
I can understand how people could just take and, and do three of those batteries just to get you through, but that's how you determine how many batteries you could possibly need to change. But as I said, it's better to change all six than it is to change the three bad. Appreciate you watching. As always, thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to hit those buttons. Share, subscribe, hit that bell for the new videos coming out. As always, God bless.